friends, a user reached out saying, hey, how can I turn this logo into something I can 3D print? I've got some tricks, so let's get cracking. So first things first, this is the design that was shared. I simply right clicked it and I chose save image as. As you can see, I put it in my downloads folder as a PNG. Step two was to use Google and find picsvg.com. When you press enter, it is a totally free SVG converter. Simply upload the picture and when you bring it in, it will turn it into an SVG. Now, I don't want all these separate lines. I want one that is internal. So it just has the black, but notice that doesn't work. If we look at this super closely, you can see there is an outline and a fill. That is why this is the only one that shows up where it has those outside edges. Real quickly, I will highlight this could be used, but there are little dots. That would be a pain. Once again, this one is a little more crisp and we could use it, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to find the internal one and why it's useful to us. For this step, we are going to find Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. If you press enter, we want the one called Pixlr Express or Pixlr X. I always choose sign in with Google. This time we're going to open an image. Don't forget it was in the downloads folder. And I can't see the outer edges that the system was detecting, but we're going to solve it by simply painting everything. Friends, we're going to switch to the Epic Fill tool. We want to fill everything with black. And then we can simply click out here to select it. And then because I shut off contiguous, I can click that and bam, it all fills in. Notice now we can see those little highlights of the other color. I'm going to simply zoom in and click on some of those. And I'm going to up the tolerance so it fills everything. That was too much. So we can do control Z to undo. Let's try a tolerance of about 59. Once again, I'm going to zoom in and click on one of those little yellow dots and those dots and those dots. And bingo, we have got a one color design. Just like that, we can hit save and I'm going to save it as a JPG and I only need medium quality. Hit save and I'm going to store it in my downloads and I'm going to call this star and hit save. Now notice we only get three free saves a day. That's perfect for this project though. And I'm gonna quickly return to pick SVG and let's upload that new one color design. When it comes in, notice it still has the awesome edge option or the option we wanted, which was the internal. And now we can download that SVG file. Once again, I'm gonna put it in my downloads and I'm gonna change the name to star and hit save. Friends, at this point, we can finally get to Tinkercad. This is the homepage. I always choose sign in with Google. Today, we're going to create a brand new 3D design. I'm going to click up here and name this star logo. That's how you name files. And let's import our cool shape. Simply hit import, choose file, move to the downloads where we saved it and choose open. I'm going to make it only art. And instead of almost 300 centimeters, I'm going to make it 55 and press enter. Notice both scale and I can choose import. Just like that, we've got the logo design. I chose these measurements because it'll print pretty darn quick. I'm also going to change the height. Notice if we click on it, we've got these corners where we can see the measurements. I only want this to be two millimeters thick. Friends, the trick works like this. We've got all kinds of awesome fill modes we can use over here. We're going to click on this one. We're going to make it that bright green. That is similar to how the project ends. And I'm going to change this one from 2 to 2.25. That way it'll stick up. Now we are going to simply click on this shape, do control D. And this time we're going to switch it to the outer line instead of the large number 5. I'm going to tell you a fun number is 3. I'm also going to set the color to black. And let's change that thickness to 2 and press enter. I also want to make sure that this is round and maximum quality. The fix for the missing middle is super simple with this design. Let's click on the green and let's hide it. Let's bring out a cylinder and make sure that it is larger than that middle section. I am going to just shift stretch until it's close. And then of course I do want the height to be the exact same size. Put a two in there and press enter. I'm gonna leave the edges jagged. As you'll see, they don't even show up. Select it all, do L for align, and make sure they're center and center, and control G to group. 
After a moment, you'll see that it groups, and if we do show all, bingo, your logo is ready. Friends, how cool is that? Oh, real quickly, I want to show you how that first image would have turned out. I saved it as star 2 with all those outside edges. Once again, I'm going to choose Art. I'm going to set it to 55 and press Enter. And when this one loads, notice it's got every edge. If we click on that, we can change it to Silhouette. But notice that doesn't even fill out correctly, and it also would not allow us to do the epic outer line that we use to solve the project. I'm going to quickly hit delete and get this project back to where it was. There you have it, friends. Simple steps to combine Tinkercad, Pixlr, and whatever images you find on the internet to make awesome 3D printable designs. I do want to say thanks to Mikkel for the question. I love working on projects that are suggested by users. And of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I do have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below there, you will find my class, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything, but I do want to highlight at the bottom is a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any class at cadclass.org. You can visit that site by simply clicking visit now. I do also want to highlight this sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Don't forget also there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.